Hey, what's up everyone? Diggin' Dave here. Um, first of all, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos. I've, um, my banks in my area, a lot of the banks in my area have been closed, so I haven't been able to really get coins. Um, and the bank where I dump coins is actually the lobby's closed, so I'm not able to dump coins. So, um, I have some footage of a couple nickel hunts that I did that I never released. So I'm just gonna kind of put this video together, but I just wanted to say sorry guys for the lack of videos. Hopefully I'll get back to coin roll hunting and metal detecting soon. Um, as you can hear, my kids are obviously off school. My kids haven't been to school in like over a month now. So if you hear kids in the background, I apologize. But I just wanted to make this quick intro to let you guys know. Apologize for the lack of videos. Hopefully I'll be back metal detecting, coin roll hunting soon. And um, yeah. I really want to start looking for that 2020 W quarter. Excited to do some quarter hunting. And um, yeah, sit back, enjoy this video. This is all the footage I have at the moment. Just a couple nickel hunts that I did. So sit back, enjoy, and um, hopefully I'll be back with more videos soon. Thank you. Hey, what's up, everyone? Digging Dave here. So guys, I have one box of nickels. Normally I have two to four boxes I do in a video. My bank only had one extra box of nickels the other day, so I thought I would do a solo one nickel box hunt. We don't have any crazy enders, but they are circulated. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Let's go ahead and dig right in. All right, so a good start. Very first roll, roll number one. We got a 1954. See here, we got a 1954 uh, Philadelphia, it looks like. 1954, I'll take it. All right, very next roll, roll number uh, two. Got two more finds. We got a 1948, 1948 Philadelphia. All right, and we also got a 1953, um, I think it's a Denver, 1953 Denver. So two more oldies, let's keep searching. All right, very next roll. Roll number three yielded a four in. Roll number three yielded a four in. Canadian. Always forget which way they turn. 1993. Canada, full focus, I'm sorry. 1993, Canada. All righty, I'll take it. Roll number four, it seems like we're getting something out of every roll here. We got another find. This time it looks like a 1953 again. 1953, Philly. All right, we're on roll number 10, and we just got a buffalo nickel. It is very toasty, but we surprisingly have a date. It almost looks like it was in some type of chemical, but as you can see, 1935. 1935. And to me, it looks like a Philadelphia. But wow, we got a Buffalo. It's been a while. 1935. I'll take it. We're on roll number 12. Nothing too crazy, but just got a 1954 Philadelphia, or, ooh, my bad, 1954 Denver. Uh, nickel. Alrighty. Alright, guys, we're right here in the box, not quite halfway through. Just got another find. It looks like a 1952. A 1952 Philadelphia. Let's keep searching. All right, like two rolls later, just got another find. It's not terribly old, but we got a 1946. Well, it's kind of old. 1946, Philadelphia. And I could have swore that I had a war nickel, but it ended up just being a dark 1964. I swore it was a war nickel, but it was just a dark 64. Let's keep looking. Right, we're three rolls away from me and halfway through the box and just got another find. Nothing too crazy, but it is an older nickel, 1947. Like a 1947, 
Philadelphia. Let's keep searching. All right, very next roll. It's got another keeper. It's like a 1951. 1951. Philadelphia. A lot of Philadelphia's in this box. I'll take it though. 1951. So guys, this is actually a pretty good box. Very next roll. We have 26 rolls left. We're almost halfway through the box. Look at this. This is kind of a, I'm not sure if this is chemical, but this is a weird toned 1941. As you guys can see. Got this weird, I don't know if it's chemical, weird toning on it. We also got a 1940. Also got a 1940 um, San Francisco, as you can see. 1940S. We got another foreign, a 1993 Canadian nickel. I think that's the same year as the one we got earlier. Yep, same year, another 93. So 41 with weird toning and a 40S. Really hope we can find a war nickel or another buffalo. Let's keep looking. All right, we have 20 rolls left in the box. Just got another keeper looks like another 1941 and this one is a Philadelphia 18 rolls to go just got another find uh, another very common 1940 uh, Philadelphia Let's keep searching all right so I went through the rest of the rolls I have a couple more finds I did find another Buffalo nickel unfortunately I can tell it has been heavily cleaned it is a 1935, as you can see. It's a 1935, but I just thought it looked weird. Someone polished the crap out of this and cleaned it. It would have been a pretty nice condition buffalo if someone wouldn't have cleaned it, and it is an S mint mark as well. So we did find another buffalo, though. It's still a buffalo, just, I mean, it's considered damaged now that someone cleaned it. We also got a 1941. Philadelphia. A lot of Philadelphias in this box. 1946 Philadelphia and a 1951 Denver. So yeah guys, out of the box we got two Buffaloes and I believe they are both 1935 which is kind of bizarre. Yeah, 35 Philly 35 S unfortunately really clean but um, two Buffaloes in a box, pretty good. Um, we got two foreigns right here, two Canadians both 1993 we didn't find any 1939s or 38s, but we got um, you know, a mixture of common 40s and 50s. But guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on digging. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Digging Dave here. I have two boxes of nickels. As you can see, they are circulated. I don't have any crazy enders, but they are circulated. Let's go ahead and do two boxes of nickels and see what we can find. All right, we're only four rolls in and got our first find of the box. It looks like a 1948, uh, 1948 Philadelphia. So first find out of the nickel box, 48 Philadelphia. Man, guys, here's a little update. We're 25 rolls in and we have still only found one keeper the 1948 this is a very slow nickel box so that's all we found i just wanted to update you all we just found the 1948 we're officially halfway through the box we have 25 rolls to go hopefully the box can pick up a little bit because not finding much just a lot of newer nickels and 70s and 80s 60s but nothing really old so hopefully the box will pick up in the last half all right, so after I just recorded saying I haven't found anything else, the very next roll, we did finally get something a little older, 1941. Philadelphia. Not in good condition, you know, pretty high mintage, but hey, we found something a little older, 1941. I'll take it. All right, very next roll, we have 23 rolls left. Got another oldie right here. It's actually in not terrible condition. You can see it's a 1948 in pretty nice condition. A 1948 Denver. Not sure if there's any errors or anything with this date. I'll have to double check. But 1948 Denver. Sweet. All right, very next roll. 
We're finally, it's weird. First 25 rolls, nothing. And now the last few rolls, we've been finding something every roll. A 1947. Uh, 1947. Philadelphia. All right, I went through a few rolls with uh, nothing, but we just got another find. It looks like a 19, uh, 1941 uh, Philadelphia in really bad condition, but it is an older one, 1941. All right, 10 rolls left in uh, box number one of the nickels, and we got another find. Right here, it's a 1946. Let's see here, 1946. Denver. Hopefully we can find a buffalo or, or a war nickel. No luck yet, but we do have 10 rolls left. Let's keep searching. Very next roll, we just got another keeper. It is a 1954. A 1954. Denver. Right there. All right, guys, so I finished this box. Didn't find any war nickels or buffaloes. It was actually a pretty slow box, common 40s and 50s. I did go through the last of the rolls, and this is what I got. I want to update you guys. I got a 1941 Philadelphia, a 1952 Philadelphia, a 1953 Denver, a 1954 Denver, and a 1954 Denver. So guys, pretty much just a bunch of common 40s and 50s. We didn't get any 38s, 39s, no key dates, no buffaloes, nor no war nickels. Fortunately, a pretty below average nickel box, but we do have another box. So let's go ahead and move on to nickel box number two, and hopefully we can have some better luck. Hold on. All right, so I'm on roll number two of nickel box number two. Got two boxes in this hunt. And in roll number two, I got two 1941s in the same roll. I got a 1941 Denver and a 1941 Philadelphia. All right, let's keep searching. All right, guys, we are six rolls into box number two, and I just got another keeper. It is nothing too special, but it is old. 1946 Philadelphia. All right, we're 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 only eight rolls into box number two, and we just got another keeper. Man, it seems like I'm finding a lot of these. Nine, seems like I'm finding a lot of 1941s, but a 1941 Philadelphia. Let's keep searching. All right, just a couple rolls later, I got a 1946. The 1946 San Francisco. I got a question for you guys. You see right there? There's this weird line going right through the nickel down there. Is that a lamination error? Are those really worth anything? Or it looks like at the bottom of the ponytail, there's like a crack. Almost like a lamination error or something. But yeah, pretty cool. 1946 S. All right, just got another find. It looks like a 1955. A 1955 Denver. We're about, I think, about 15 or 16 rolls into the box, and uh, still no buffles or war nickels. I really hope we can find something cool. Let's keep on looking. Just a couple rolls later, got another find. Looks like another uh, 1946. 1946. Philadelphia. All right, not too long later, just got another find in 1947. Philadelphia, 1947. Right, guys, we just finished box number two of the nickels. Got a few more finds. Unfortunately, no buffaloes or no, no buffaloes and no war nickels and two boxes of nickels. That's uh, kind of disappointing. I normally get a couple war nickels, a box, and a buffalo here and there, but I guess these boxes just weren't as good. But let me go ahead and show you guys what else I got in 1946. Philadelphia, a 1947. Philadelphia, a 1952. S, a 1952. Philadelphia, and a 1953. Philadelphia. Let me grab the finds from the first box and we'll do a wrap up. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so here's the wrap up. We didn't get any 1938s, 39s, um, just a bunch of common 40s and 50s. 
This is how it is though sometimes. Sometimes you don't always find the buffaloes, the war nickels. Well, I've never found a V nickel, so I don't know if I ever will. I've been coin roll hunting nickels for about two years now. Never found a V nickel, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry we didn't have too many exciting finds, but figured I'd still post the video. Make sure and like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, I'm Diggin' Dave. Keep on digging. Peace.